So I went outside to look at my Hoyas and I noticed some of them were very um, soft and wrinkly. So I decided to make a video right now on how I water my Hoyas and how I help them to grow peduncles. A lot of you guys are asking, how do you get your Hoyas to grow peduncles? So I'm going to show you guys um, what I put in the water, how I missed them to grow peduncles. So I have some Hoyas hanging here and this one is the Hoya Bella. It gets plenty of sun and it, I noticed that it doesn't get scorched. And then I have this one here with the Dunkel flowering up. And I have some over here with a lot of peduncles. I have a few baby ones right there. I have my Lankonosa. Um, but anyways, I'll show you exactly what I do to get my plants to water. To water to grow peduncles. And then this one right here, you could tell it needs water since the bottom of the leaves are kind of like wrinkly and soft and mushy. See, this one needs water for sure. See how... Um, wrinkly it is you could tell right here it's very wrinkly so I'm gonna go ahead and give this plant some water this is what I like to use this is my favorite this is the Alaska fish fertilizer it's great for all indoors and outdoor plants for organic gardening won't burn so um, I like using this because I feel safe that it's not gonna over fertilize my plants to the point that they're gonna burn off you know when you over fertilize your plants sometimes they tend to um, loose leaves or if you over fertilize your plant fruit trees they may lose the fruit this is a very low uh, fertilizer so it's just enough to give the hoyas in this case a particular little extra dosage of love and it helps them to grow so you can see this one i have a hoya wayetia it's growing a lot of new um trend tendrils and it's just loving it but yes yeah, so i use the alaska fish fertilizer and I actually just eyeball it. I'm gonna use this mop bucket here to put my fertilizer. So nothing fancy. I don't do any like specific care for them. I just eyeball how much water I'm gonna add to the fertilizer. But that's about how much fertilizer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use about, I'm gonna estimate maybe two tablespoons of fertilizer. And then I'm just going to add some water, of course. Alright, so let me just go ahead and add some water here. It smells like, um, like the ocean. And I'm pretty much done with this one. So I'm gonna turn it off. And this is about a 48 ounce bucket. So for this much, I use two tablespoons. So let me just start out with this one here, which is the Hoya Wayetia. I make sure not to put the, the leaves in the water. I just try to put the focus on the bucket, on the bucket, on the pot. So and notice how i'm not sinking it all the way through there you go the water will slowly start to go up now this it gets kind of messy for sure but that's just how i do it it's really really messy but i really only do this maybe once a month just to get the plant to get a lot of nutrients and then I missed it afterwards but for now this is how I'm doing it I can't see it's lost a lot of its soil but I'll fix it later the next one is this one the Hoya Queen, I'm gonna pop it in there. Hey, you can see this one has 
Uh -huh. So this one is getting scorched because I have it in the sun, especially right now in the summer. It gets a lot, a lot of sun. <clears throat> you can see the leaves here are scorched. So I'm gonna probably put it back um, in another place. Not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put it back where it was. You can see the leaves are just burning off. Especially on 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 heat on this heat um it's about to be a hundred degrees so I cannot have this hoya in there especially now that it's getting water if I put it back on the sun it's just gonna cook it off because you know it's gonna heat up the water that it's getting right now and it's gonna boil so I'm gonna put it I believe I'm gonna put it right here next to my laconosa. <clears throat> So I'm just gonna keep it in there for about five more minutes. And also, if you wanna keep it on the natural side, you don't wanna you know, use any pesticides. I also have this bottle right here. This one has neem oil, water, and apple cider vinegar. And I also use this on my Hoyas. But this one, I have to be careful not to put it on the Hoyas when they're in direct sun or outdoors because I feel like this kind of burns the leaves so you gotta do it in the morning or maybe during the winter that's why i don't use this as much but it is a natural alternative i just if you have it indoors you could probably use it indoors but since it has apple cider vinegar then it's gonna be a very strong scent you can of course leave out the apple cider vinegar but um i just use the neem oil but i feel like the neem oil and the apple cider vinegar helps to kill um any mealybugs this is specifically for mealybugs it really gets rid of them or you can also put um, neem oil and soap with water instead of putting the apple cider vinegar. But yeah, I like to use this during the cold months when there's not a lot of sun. But specifically now for the summer, I don't use this. But it is something that I use, just not in this time of year. Okay, so let me take this Hoya out. It already got as much water as it could. And I'm gonna put it right in here. I think I'm gonna leave it there because if I put it back where I had it, it's gonna burn off. Next, I'm gonna use this one here. This is the Hoya Carry Eye. <clears throat> See, this one was also getting a lot of sun and so it got scorched. Something that all you notice that helps Hoyas to grow peduncles is if you stress them out. Stressing them out by giving them too much um, bright light and not giving them enough water. So I tend to get my Hoyas to dry out 100% for like a month or so. And then I water them thoroughly. You can see this Hoya really did needed the, the water. The leaves are super wrinkly, very, very wrinkly. And it's scorched. So I'm gonna feed it some fertilizer, some water, and I'm gonna leave it here for another five minutes and I'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna take this way out. Let me see if I can clean that little heart right there in the back that's full of. Oh, I'll get it after. Okay, so this one I actually had it hanging on the side over there, right here, and so it got scorched. So I'm just gonna put it in here. Getting rid of some of that dirt. Okay. Have another Hoya Hearts. I have the variegated one. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna put it in here. This one I've watered earlier this week, so I'm not gonna water it too much. Just gonna water it just very lightly. Just a quick little watering. But this one, um, this one I got it for five dollars in downtown Los Angeles, and it only had like three leaves, I think. And over the course of not even a year, it's grown that much. So I I have a video where I was talking about this Hoya and you could tell how much it's grown in not even a year. It's grown quite massive. But yeah, this one, since it's variegated, I tend to water it a little bit more often than the, the green one that I just watered. So that's a little tip. I'm gonna put it back where I got it. There you go. 
have a few other Hoyas, but this ones I'm not gonna put them in there because they're too little. I have the Hoya Matilde with um, a peduncle right there. You guys can see it's a little blurry. Then I have my Hoya Shepardi eye with a peduncle right there. And another one right there. And then I have my Astralis Lisa, others right there. It got really, really hot, and I couldn't be outdoors anymore. I had to come indoors because it's really, really hot. Right now in California, the weather, it's crazy. But um, pretty much, if you guys have your Hoya outdoors, I think it's easier for them to bloom than if you have them indoors. Of course, you can have them indoors with, like, grow lights, but I don't like using grow lights. I just tend to use natural resources, like the natural light, and then I use fertilizer, of course. Um, but I feel like something that will make your Hoyas to grow peduncles and it's if you stress them out. I stress them out by giving them too much light and then they scorch. And then um, I water them after in the mornings. And then like right now it was like what, 10, 11 in the morning and it got re it's really sunny. So um, I think that if you stress out your Hoyas and then you water them and then you spray them throughout the day, it's gonna encourage them to grow peduncles. But that's pretty much it guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you guys that were asking how to make your Hoyas grow peduncles. That's what I did. Um, all of my Hoyas grew peduncles within a month, not even a year. I think nine months was the longest. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.